Assalamualaikum to all. This is our team for fluid mechanics uh, assignment. So our team consists of three person, which is uh, Muhammad Najib Abdul Halim and I'm Muhammad Amin Shamim Behizi and Muhammad Faiz Bin Azmi. This is a task. It's about to setting up an experiment that involves the measurement of fluorine in a water channel and to come up with a proper instrument. As we can see below, this is the water channel. It's a closed circuit and horizontal facility. The working section is fabricated, uh, transparent acrylic sheets and allowing an unobstructed view of the flow from any angle. So, we have to conduct a case, case study on the available techniques and device for flow rate measurement, discuss the advantage and disadvantage of each te technique, and make a recommendation for this case. From our research and study, we found that we have four types of flow rate devices. The number one is orifice plates, and then the number two is Particle image velocimetry is called PIV for the short name. The number three, laser Doppler velocimetry, LDV. And then for the last one is hot wire anemometry is called HWA. The first one is uh, orifice plate. The fluid flow is measured through the difference in pressure from the upstream side to the downstream side. It has about eight advantage of orifice plate, such as simple in construction, cheap, easy to install and remove, efficient and re reliable, available in many materials, easy to measure flow rate, can be used in a wide range of size, and also their characteristics are well known and predictable. It has five D advantage, which is high permanent pressure draw. Characteristic may change due to erosion and corrosion. May it may cross clocks in slurries. Fluid must be in single phase and homogeneous. The last one is square root characteristics. The second is a particle image velocimetry. It is an optical method of flow visualization. It used to obtain in instantaneous velocity measurement and related properties in fluid. A measurement technique which allow for capturing velocity information of wall flow field. It has five advantages. Uh, first is produce two dimension or three dimension vector field. Second is the particle concentration is such that it is possible to identify individual particles in an image. Third is to, to a large degree. Fourth is high speed data processing and the, the last is sub pixel displacement values which allow a high degree of accuracy. Disadvantages. First, requires proper selection of particles. And then, size of flow structures are limited. The last one is costly. Device for fluid measurement. Number one, typical PIV apparatus consists of camera, a strobe or laser with an optical arrangement to limit the physical region illuminated, a synchronizer to add as an external trigger for control of the camera, a fiber optic cable or liquid light may, may connect the laser to the lens setup. The one is laser Doppler below, below symmetry. Technique of using the Doppler shift in a laser beam to measure the velocity in transparent or semi transparent fluid flows. The measurement with laser Doppler anemometry is absolute and linear. Used to make non-intrusive velocity measurement in the fluid flow. Device for flow rate measurement. The system consists of a solid state laser, a beam separator or shifter and splitter, 
a fiber optics and lens system. Also, a photo multiply receiver, digital signal processors, and a computer system with the flow sizer program installed. This is an uh, operating principle. Laser doctor velocimetry crosses to beam of collimate mon monochromatic and coherent laser light. The two beams are usually obtained by splitting a single beam. So the advantage <coughs> is non-intrusive, high resolution, high accuracy, wide dynamic range for velocity measurement. Then for the disadvantages, first single point measurements and then expensive in instrumentation. The last one is hot wire anemometry. It's a device used for measuring the velocity and direction of the fluid. Use a fine wire on the order of several micrometer electric electrically heated to some temperature above the ambient. Uh, air flowing past the wire cool the wire. Measurement of the flow rates in hot wire anemometer, anemometer the heat transfer electrically to the wire. The Wheatstone bridge is used for measuring the temperature of wire. The, the temperature of, of the wire remains constant. It has five advantages, which is extremely high frequency response. The second one, spatial resolution compared to other measurement. And then continue with the measurement of steady velocities, the constant temperature type, the main application of hot wire anemometer, and the last one, majority of application is in gas flow meters. For this advantage, fine wire has limited physical strength due to the accumulation calibration of instrument change. Recommendation from four techniques. We recommend to choose the particle image velocimetry, PIV. This is because it is an optical method of flow visualization which allows for capturing velocity information of whole flow fields in a fraction of a second.